Hi you guys, good morning. Starting a new vlog. It is Sunday morning at about 10 15. We are going apple picking today with the family. So I figured I'd start a vlog. I don't know. We'll see like how much footage I get, but yeah, I'm excited. I love apple picking. This is like a tradition that I've been doing my entire life as a family. So I'm excited. I did wake up with like a little bit of like a on like I feel an oncoming um sinus infection very prone to them and like I can feel the sinus pressure building in my head and like my face and yeah so that's a good time but we are I'm excited I love apple picking I don't know what I'm wearing yet I got these jeans from um Abercrombie I got them like probably six months ago I ordered like a bunch of them expecting to be able to do a haul and none of them fit <laughs> like at least none of them fit well including this one pair that I kept because I was like oh like I might be able to make them work and like I went to go try them on again I just tried them on and the knee holes where the like there's like um slits in the knees so like where the knees are supposed to be falls at my shins because they're too long because I must have ordered a long and so I don't know what I was thinking when I was like oh I'll make these work like no girl you can't make those work unless your knees like somehow move low lower it's weird I don't know so I was like planning this little basic outfit of like kind of the relaxed jean look with a white long sleeve and just like either Ugg boots or sneakers or something because it's in the 50s today and obviously we're going to an orchard so um it's gonna be walking and you just want to be like comfortable but now the jeans that I was planning on wearing are no more so I don't know we'll see what I end up wearing if I maybe just throw on a pair of leggings and <laughs> call it a day we'll see but figured I'd come on here and start the vlog this has been my favorite dry shampoo it's almost gone it is by dry bar called the detox dry shampoo this is in the coconut colada scent I really like this dry shampoo it's really good um the other one that I've been seeing a lot about is by living proof is that yeah living proof I think Sorry, I'm like, I think I wrote it down actually because I wanted to like, I have like a, li a running list of products I want to try on my phone. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah. Living Proof Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I really want to try that one. So I think maybe I'll order that one next. But all right, I'm just going to throw a couple of little loose waves in my hair with this big old wand. And throw some makeup on we have to leave here in like 40 minutes so <laughs> let's hurry okay makeup and hair done these are my favorite lashes they're by salon perfect they're the 671 pre-perm push-up medium curl this is like the packaging they're so good they came in like a little two-pack they just look like like lash extensions i feel like like i love them all right let's go find something to wear this is what I ended up wearing. I'm wearing all black, which I did not imagine going with, but it's just what ended up working out. So I have this like black long sleeve on underneath. And then this thing is a little vest. It has like, you can't really see. Huh? It has like a little tie up here. And then it's like a little vest. And it's like a turtleneck. It's cozy. It's cute. It's cold out. And I just put on white socks and sneakers because... It's gonna be cold. I wish the lighting was better. I don't know what's going on with my camera why I can't get it to. Okay, we're on our way. I completely messed up my camera settings, but I think I got them back. Hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that took forever. So you probably yeah. couldn't see my outfit, but I'm wearing a black shirt, black. This is like a sleeveless vest that I got from ASOS last winter. There's little white hairs on it, but, um, and it has like the sides open. And I'm wearing black leggings and white sneakers because we're going to the apple orchards. And yeah, that's the plan for the day. Okay, so we had to make like a quick pit stop at Walgreens because I looked in the mirror and realized my eyelash was half off of my face. <laughs> um, and I, grab, I grabbed this one from Lash Couture, strip lash adhesive with biotin and blueberry brush on. And it's really good. Like it, my eyelash glued down so quickly and I feel like it's really strong. So I just figured I'd say that in case you're looking for a new eyelash glue. It was like $6. So yeah. Oh, the traditional photo. 
All right, can we get at least like... Wait, okay, there you go. Do you want to take it on, me to take it on yours? Whose is that, Eddie's? Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. Smile. Smile. <laughs> it's freezing! <laughs> I want more little ones. Look at these little baby apples. Shoo, shoo, Is it good? Reach. <laughs> I have a cough drop in my mouth. It's nasty? I oh my god, Eddie, you ratchet. I that was on see. camera, fool. <laughs> Stop! What's wrong with hey, you? Apples, it's not that great. Look, look, look. <laughs> Yeah. You want, fool? Ah, it's ah, so here, <laughs> right here. Pick it up. It has a bruise. It's just not the same. No, it's not. It doesn't have a bruise. Try it. I don't like it. I think the skin is really tough. Stop spitting it? it out, savage beast. I don't like the skin. Oh it's it's this. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, right? Dan? Oh, what do you think, Chrissy? It's okay. Sorry. It's because it's little. The littler ones are more tart. You gotta get a bigger one. I know. Does it have a core? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah. it's cute. <laughs> That's very little. The little ones are fun. Ones. Everyone's been asking for you, PP. Oh. Said, where's your mother? I'm here. She's eating apples. That's where she's been. That's really tart. <laughs> Not bad though. These are cute and little. That oh, one. that one is a good one. Good reach, Eddie. Make sure good make a pie. Yeah, that's, I think that's what they call they say for Macoon. Yeah. I'm gonna make that dip again. Dude, I want this one. Daniel, don't break the tree. <laughs> Eddie, pick him up. Pick up Daniel. <laughs> you got it. Right, you got yeah, it. ready, Dan? I'll pick you up. You got it. Is it a perfect specimen? <laughs> wow. It's a specimen. Let yep. me try your apple. Hmm. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. More tart. Dan is de Daniel is determined to get these apples at the top. I like what I like and that's that. Yeah, we know. Are you getting it? I don't know. Did you get did you I get one? The baby. I want Eddie, I want those ones. You gotta help me. Which one? It's <laughs> at the top. This one? No. No, high up. I'm gonna, shake them. I'm gonna shake them. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good branch. Wow, that is teamwork. Well, hold this bag, this should be our bag. All right, we're done. Let's see. We take both potatoes. That was a very successful haul, everybody. <laughs> a haul. <laughs> a haul of apples. Where's PP's? I don't have, those are mine. Oh, they're sharing. We're sharing. Okay. This probably weighs, this probably weighs about 30 pounds. We love, that's a good successful trip. Good. Very heavy. Oh, Chrissy, what was your favorite so apple? Huh? What was your favorite yeah. apple? They're all good. They're all good? Yeah, they're all pretty good. Look. We're in the pumpkin patch. Christopher, you want to show them the pumpkin you picked? Yeah. Put them there. For the kitchen table. For your little kitchen table? Yeah, actually my office table. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. so cute. That's cute. Yeah. And then we got these ones. Guess which ones I picked. <laughs> Guess which ones Jan picked. <laughs> Obviously the uh these This one does, this guys. one looks better from this angle. Which one? This one. Oh yeah. Let me see. Me and Gabrielle also found these two guys. Yeah, they look antique -y. This cool. one's heavy as heck though. <laughs> it's, right. it's probably like 20 pounds right there. So cute. Let's see your, oh you got the classics. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. big ones and four small ones. Nice. We put back the other ones. Okay. We're probably, was it probably Are you gonna get cheaper. one, Mom? I already bought two, my two pumpkins. <laughs> I, I got them at Costco's. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I made the little caramel apple dip. But I couldn't find the caramel dip, so I had to use like caramel syrup, so we'll see how it turns out. But. And we bought a candy apple kit, so we've got that going over here. It's got a boil. Hi, everybody. It's me. So I just wanted to let you know, Gabriella went to the grocery store with Chris to do a little bit of grocery shopping. So this is what our finished product was on the uh, candy apples. Yeah, they don't really look great, but I'm sure they're gonna taste fabulous. And then before anybody got to my house, I made an apple crisp with the apples from apple picking. So there's that. And then for dinner, we are going to have, see what that is? I made eggplant parm. So it's been cooking, and let's see how it looks. 
Ooh, baby, it is ready. I'll be way ready. Just waiting for everybody to come back and I'm making pasta. And I made sauce this morning. And I've got some sausage in the sauce. So it's been cooking, not all day because I had to go out, but it's been cooking. And I'm just waiting for the water to boil so that I can throw the pasta in. So that's what, um, so that's what I've been doing today. So um, yeah, just to say hi. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Everything is great. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hi guys. Okay, so I just got home from Uncle Chris's like an hour, less than an hour ago. Um, and Dan and I have a wedding to go to tomorrow. <laughs> it's 4.30 right now. Dan and I have a wedding to go to tomorrow at one and I need to tan. And I pushed it off literally till last minute because I'm opening a fresh Diet Coke. Um, because, wow, there's no better music to my ears, but um, <laughs> I pushed it off because I was sick this week and like did not feel like being sick and sticky and like waiting for the tanner to sit in. So hindsight's 2020, I really should have just did it. But I also was like really hoping I was gonna be able to fit in. Re I was really hoping I was gonna be able to get like a spray tan appointment and I could not find one that worked with my schedule. So I went to Ulta because I'm all, I'm pretty sure I'm all out of self tanner here. Um, yeah, this is empty. This is what I was using, the Australian Glow Ultra Dark One Hour Express Self Tan Mousse. This is like something that I've repurchased. It's pretty good, I really like this one. Um, and I was mixing it with some others because I had ordered them on Amazon and I just wanted to like get through them. This one's still pretty full, but I don't really like it. This is the Mine Tan Body and Skin Dark Ash Color Based Tan in super dark, cool, intense brown finish. Not the biggest fan of this one, so that one's still full. But I also had this one from Amazon called I Want the Darkest Tan Possible. Darkest Possible One Hour Self Tan Mousse from B Tan. I don't love this alone either, so I was mixing these two. And then I also bought the Loving Tan Platinum Ultimate Self Tanning Mousse. Um, and I don't like this one alone either. It's empty, but I don't like this one alone either because I feel like it's orange. So yeah, all the tanners that I loved, I was all out of. So I went to Ulta a little earlier and I decided to pick up this one. I've never tried it before. I really like the packaging. It's like, I don't know, it's so sleek and nude and pretty. Um, so it's called Bali Body Self Tanning Mousse in Ultra Dark. And it has to sit for six, no, four to eight hours. Um, it says you can wash it after one hour with warm water, pat dry, but for a longer lasting, darker tan, allow four to eight hours before showering to reveal your developed tan. So, um, I'm probably gonna leave this on for like six hours. Since it's 4.30, I'll probably rinse it off around like 10 o'clock tonight. But I figured we could try this together. I'm excited. I don't know. If you guys ever tried this, have ever tried this, let me know what you think about it. I love self-tanning. I truly, like, really got into it this year. I've always liked it, but, like, oh, don't mind that. I was self I was um swatching lipsticks. But um, I've always liked self-tanning, but I feel like I've never been, like, religiously self-tanning. And I think this year I have since like March. So I'm gonna try that. I also picked up a lipstick and lip liner. Um, my dress tomorrow that I'm wearing to the wedding is like a burgundy shade. So I really wanted like a vampy lip. So I just got the Maybelline liquid lip in the shade Voyager. So we'll try that and see how that is. And I got the NYX lip pencil in Auburn to go with it, which is like a nice vampy color. I did a new set of press-ons. These ones are okay. To be honest with you, like they cost like a lot more than the ones I was buying before. These ones were $20 and they, they're not that great. They're called Glamnetic. I'm pretty sure Glamnetic press-ons. Order them from Amazon. They're okay, but they're not like, I don't know. I really liked my, the ones I had on before and they lasted me almost three weeks. So 
All right. Also, I'm not naked. I don't know if it looks like I'm naked. <laughs> I have like a to be top thing on. Let's try this tanner. Oh, I also I also got this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I've been wanting to try this. It was like on my products to try list. Um, and I didn't want to buy the full size because the full size was like 30 something dollars and this size was 16. So I'm going to give this one a try before I commit to the bigger one. But I'll update you guys on how that works. All right, that's all I got from Ulta. So let's get this tanner on because time is of the essence. Okay. I've washed my hand and it is stained. So cool, cool, cool. All right. The reviews on this tanner looked pretty good, like on the Ulta website. So we will see. What's the color? I shower, I showered and exfoliated this morning. It kind of smells citrusy, like a cleaning product. <laughs> to me at least, and from like what I can smell with my cold. But all right, I'm gonna put this on all over and then um, I guess I'll show you guys the result probably tomorrow. Hi guys, okay, so I wanted to give you an update on the tan before I have to like really get ready. We're leaving in like an hour and 15 minutes and I just got out of the shower. <laughs> um, but the tan worked pretty well, I feel like. My hands did get that like typical self-tanner look. Like I didn't get in between the fingers well enough and they're a little orangey, but besides that, I feel like the rest of me is pretty, it's a pretty nice color. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And I didn't mix it with anything because I wanted to like truly test out that self tanner. And I'm happy with it. I think it, it gave like a really beautiful color. I only left it on my face for, I would say like two and a half hours because I don't like my face to have too much product on it. I don't know. Um, but I feel like it gave it a nice light color and my chest didn't get as dark as like my arms did, but that's pretty typical. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. I think I like it. Pretty good. Um, so I have to get ready. I was planning on filming a get ready with me. I just don't know if you guys are still into those. So let me know what you think. If you're still into them, I will do them. I don't think I have enough time. Like, I only have an hour and 15 minutes to fully get ready. We'll see what happens after I do my hair. I don't know how I'm doing my hair. So you know love love that i always put these on this way i think this is the opposite way that you're supposed to but i just like the way like this little tail fits in this crevice of mine a little bit better than like the fat part i don't know maybe this is the way you're supposed to do them i don't know i feel like i always see everyone doing them the opposite way but I don't know how I'm doing my hair because my dress that I'm wearing has like pretty dramatic sleeves. And um, I could do an updo, but like, I really don't, I don't love my hair up. <laughs> Cause I think the dress would look nice with my hair up. But again, like it's not my favorite thing to do. So then I'm like, all right, well I could do one of those looks where like, all the hairs to the back but like knowing me I'm gonna bring it to the front I don't know I think I'm just gonna throw some curls in it <laughs> my usual and see what happens the last wedding I went to I like ended up tucking like one side back and it looked nice and then I was thinking of doing like a side part and tucking one side back but I just did my tape ins and they're like fresh so they're like really close to the scalp so I could do a side part I would just have to like tease this side a little bit so that you really didn't see the tapes but I could do like a side part moment and then like tuck I don't know do like a tuck situation here with curls I don't know I hate hair. I'm not good at hair. I don't know what to do with it. And the side part like brings me back to ninth grade. 
sorry that sounded weird I'm still getting over my cold but it brings me back to like ninth grade where we all had these like side parts and side bangs and like mm, it's just not my vibe I don't know Super quick because we're late. I gotta go. Can't even show you this. Gotta go. Pick these shoes. Running. Okay, so there was a change of plans. We went to the ceremony and wore the little burgundy dress. It ends up giving me so much anxiety because it was too big in the top. So, like, I kept feeling like I was gonna expose the church. <laughs> so, I changed. Let me show you what I'm wearing now. So, I just put on this dress from Pretty Little Thing. It's actually a set. It's like the lights don't do the best right now, but it's like a little like corseted top with this skirt that's like a side slit here. Very cute. And then I just paired it with these green earrings that I got from Amazon and Forever 21 black heels and we gotta go. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so next day, it's Sunday morning. The wedding was so much fun. We had a good time? Yeah, we had an awesome time. Yeah. It was a good time. We had a really good table. It was very, very fun. Um, but. It was wild. They had the, uh, they had like these robot guys like on stilts. It was so cool. Like with, with LEDs. glow stick. Like, yeah, with glow sticks. Like full suits and they were like dancing. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. Like, yeah. Definitely like got the party started. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good it was, day. It was a good time. Yeah, the DJ was really good. So. Anyways, it's Sunday morning. It's 11 o'clock. We're going to go get some breakfast. I feel like I'm still sick. It's so annoying. I don't know if I should need an antibiotic, a different antibiotic or what, or if this is just like running its course. I don't know. But um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to start a new one. We have some errands to run today. We're going to pick up um, a housewarming gift for Dan's brother at Home Goods. So I'll probably put together a little basket, but that'll be in the next vlog. So um all right all right guys hope you have a great week and talk to you soon bye